Oh, what up, wizards? Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Legends. I'm Cardi Star, and I haven't posted in a little over a week. Apologize for that. I've been trying to get my uh, new desktop set up with uh, some recording and streaming software. I've downloaded the OBS uh, system, and I've been toying with the the settings to it. It's on an iMac. Uh, I got an iMac, not because I'm a Mac guy, but because my wife and I are both using it. So it's mainly for her, but I'm I'm going to use it to um, I'm going to use it as well for uh, potentially streaming and uh, recording. So I haven't haven't gotten the OBS uh, set up exactly the way I want it, which is why I haven't recorded and posted a video in a while. I've been focusing on trying to get that set up, so apologize for the delay. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to get back into things with uh, the championship first place Telvani deck that Please Don't Hack Me played. There's a play. There's Definitely a, a, a solid deck. That being said, um, it's, yeah. the meta has definitely shifted a lot since the... Master Series Championship. So while this is still a very good deck, it may not be the most competitive the deck. So uh, don't be um, don't be discouraged uh, if it doesn't work for you. I'll definitely post a link in the description. Um, but like I said, it may not be the perfect deck for the meta. But it's still a fun deck to play. I've been playing it a little bit uh, while I've been getting back into the ladder. So yeah, feel free to uh, take a look at the deck list. Uh, so I hope to be, I hope to be, let's see, Therina for sure. I hope to be streaming soon. I'm not going to uh, jump right into streaming until I have the system set up the way I want to. Uh, so if you have any recommendations, feel free to pass those along uh, as I'm working to get uh, set up on streaming as well as a recording. So if, if you know of anything specific, uh, feel free to share. I think what we'll do here <coughs> is Blackhand Messenger. And then let's drop down Tree Minder. Excuse me, and the idea is to get this battalion down to three health and use Ice Storm next turn, depending on what my opponent plays. <coughs> Excuse me, got some crazy a congestion play. there. A play. Yeah, Ice Storm will definitely be an appropriate play here. Uh, not so much. Okay. Let's just go ahead and ice storm then. I suppose I should have scouting reported first. We'll keep doppelganger. Therina doppelganger would be a solid play, uh, but I want to hold on to Therina until I can get um, Ulfric's uprising. Not Ulf, yeah, Ulfric's uprising. In my hand. I'll clear a path. See what my opponent drops down. Hopefully, it's a bunch of uh, three health or less cards. Ice Storm will be the perfect uh, answer to that. <laughs> We're still doing good. We've, we've got 28 health. Uh, not a lot of heavy hitters uh, on the board have been able to come after us. So I'm, I'm optimistic about our position. And we will definitely just firebolt Ice Storm here. When you're playing a control deck, uh, your health becomes a commodity just as much as anything else. Because uh, you're not necessarily concerned with it uh, the way you would be if you're running an aggro deck. Because the idea is to extend the game as long as possible. So losing health early on is usually not uh, a severe deal. <coughs> Right, what do I have for four Magicka? I don't think I want to play this just yet. 
11 Magicka would be okay. I think I'll just drop down Therina and pass the turn. <laughs> and what we'll do is a uh, Genius Path Mage will hopefully draw out a Doppelganger and then hopefully draw out um, Hist. Uh, I don't even remember. Hist, uh, Hist something or other. Sorry, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Hopefully we'll see it here in a second. Thorn Hist Mage, that was it. So we didn't draw out a, a, a doppelganger, but that's fine. Um... I'm not gonna doppelganger... Genius Path Mage. I don't think I'm on a Dark Rebirth either. I think I'm just going to oh, smack, yes. smack him and pass the turn. <coughs> Udaving will come down next turn. So even if they play um, Tullius's Conscription, Udaving should take care of most of those creatures. <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely want to hold on to Doppelganger uh, once we can drop down a bunch of uh, Nick Soxes. Rudaving's a really good card. Necromancer is okay. I don't know what they're going to pull out. Praetorian Commander, so they're definitely setting up for a conscription. There's the Nixox. So I want to see if I can... I don't think I can quite pull this off and get the Udaving. So let's Udaving. no match for mine. Go ahead and erase this health. <coughs> and if they conscription here, we can Dark Rebirth, Udaving, and throw down the Nixox with a Doppelganger. Cast into Time, though, will uh, kind of set us back a little bit. We'll be able to use Udaving again. So Nixox Doppelganger Conscription or uh, Uprising here would be ideal. They're gonna throw down more dual masterminds. They don't have their pieces in deck. They're they're digging for that conscription. I imagine they'll pull it soon if they didn't just pull it there. So we'll just Nixox and I think we have to, hmm, we might, we might, we might doppelganger Therina here. We'll put us down to six. Dark Rebirth, uh, the, hmm, we'll bring out a three drop. Wait a minute. Right yep, there way. we go. That's what we wanted. There's always a way, and I can always find it. Where is it? Wolfric's uprising. And we will nick socks. Wolfric's Uprising. And we'll grab Experiment. We will create Lana. 
There's always a way, and I can always find it. Grapple for surprising. And that'll be it for that turn. Well, shoot, we didn't get the other Ulfric Uprising. So not, you know, that's not terrible. We definitely set up our board the way we wanted to. Just took me a little bit longer than it should have to so uh, get everything we wanted. Uh, we could have potentially won that turn if I had played that correctly. <coughs> but we did not. We do have a Soul Tear to get Therina back if we wanted to. We don't necessarily need to. Can't. I'm very frustrated that we didn't get that other <coughs> Ulfric Uprising. Should have been faster. I forgot that we uh, had put zero cost versions of it into the deck. Man, it took me so long to figure out. Hmm. Alright, well, let's. Camel. Um, experiment for sure. We will grab a Lanneth. There's always a way, and I can always grab. Find it. Well, for uprising, sacrifice the camel, and my opponent concedes because they know what's about to happen. So that is the power of. The Nixox Telvani. We we definitely set up everything on our previous turn. We could have won that turn uh, if we'd been a little bit faster. So that's that's the power of Telvani. Uh, so you didn't get to see it, but essentially, and you're going to see me in the snake here because I've been messing around with Crusader decks. Uh, but you didn't get to see it. Essentially, we would have kept zero cost Ulfric Uprising until we and we actually had the uh, the. Territorial Viper enhanced. So all we needed was the ring. Throw down a couple more Nyx Oxes. Throw down the uh, Territorial Viper. Throw the ring on it. Um, the Mentor's Ring. or uh, I don't even remember what, what specifically the ring is called. But uh, I think it's the Mentor's Ring. I could be wrong. Feel free to correct me in the comments. But we throw the ring on the Viper. And uh, all of our creatures gain charge. And we just go face... Uh, for the win, but yeah, that that's how that would have worked. So yeah, that's the uh, championship Telvani once again. Sorry for uh, the the lack of videos over the last week. Been working on getting this, this streaming software set up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully you can experiment with your own Telvani decks. If you liked it, please leave a a like. And if you want to continue to see more videos, and I hate to say. <laughs> uploaded daily because I haven't been uh, but I'll, I'll try to continue to upload videos as much as possible as consistently as possible so if you want to support the channel see more videos please subscribe thank you for those who have stuck around even though I haven't been posting videos over the last week uh, I appreciate it I definitely recognize that and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching